Mr. Lee Gill. How are you, buddy? I'm, I'm looking over here. Right, we're going to talk about film and your career, but before we do that, I walked in today and I saw you wearing a Nullifix cap. And I would like to talk to you first about some punk rock, is that okay? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're going to hear the room. Yeah, it's about no effects. Put rock up. Really looks like a punk rock festival. But I'm down, if you are. I'm always down. How about we get someone to do it? How about we talk about that alien costume? That's not a costume, that's from skills. That's a real alien. <laughs> that's incredible, by the way. <laughs> So Lee, you've had a good long career so far. You're in The Witcher, uh, Game of Thrones, Fantastic Beasts, billion dollar making movie The Joker, and of course Scorpion King 4. Yes. yes, that's us. Which of these has been your favourite experience? Um, definitely not Scorpion King 4. And actually that was fun, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure nobody even knew there was a Scorpion King 2 or 3, let alone 4, but it was pretty cool. Filmed it in Romania. Um, yeah, it was fun. There was loads of UFC fighters in the cast, and I'm a big MMA fan, so it was kind of cool just having a bit of a jolly in Romania with some fighters. Yeah, and uh, I played a character called Chief Onus. So ever since I've had to deal with my dad calling it something slightly rude or something. What is it? Uh, Chief, uh, just change the uh, O for an A. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, so not Chief Onus. <laughs> so, you are most well known, especially in the moment for the Joko, like you say, it's moving movie that took a billion dollars. Lucky like has got Oscar. You should follow in my opinion. I thought you were better than him. Who knows? What might be coming? Joke. This is what I want Joker 2 is coming. Are you going to be in that? I, I wouldn't know. Oh, the I secrets mean, again. They're finished filming it. And who knows who's in it? Yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah, when it does come out, he's in it. I bet. I bet. I'll take a bet on that. Um, why do you think there's such an appeal for a character like the Joker? Such a villain, but. Probably more popular nowadays than Batman himself. Um, well, bad guys are just cool, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, um, I think the cool thing about the Batman world, though, is and, and what stands out compared to a lot of other comic book things at the moment is, you know, there's no superpowers in our film, that it's just, it could happen. I think that's what, why people relate to it, it's just a, uh, a man who's been beaten down by society and uh, he uh, does some pretty bad things but somehow uh, you root for him because you feel for him. And he only kills bad people and lets awesome people like Gary live so why would you not root for the Joker? <laughs> like a lot of people compare the Joker movie to uh, like old Mike Scorsese movies like Taxi Driver and everything. When you were auditioning for the part of this movie did you realise it was going to be like such a hardcore, really film, or did you think it was going to be more flashback and pow? Um, well, when we got sent the script, it didn't actually say that it was Joker, they kept that secret, um, all the names were changed, and um, yeah, so I knew, it, all I knew was it was a Warner Brothers movie, and I knew that it was a really gritty, dark movie, so I was just really excited to audition for something that seemed really cool and dark. I just thought it was going to be like a, a crime sort of thriller thing. Um, and yeah, then they let slip. When, when I got through um, to like some sort of shortlist or something, they uh, let slip to my agent who the director was. And then obviously I did some research of what that director was doing, Tom Phillips, and found out it was Joker. And then um, I booked a one-way ticket to New York where he was doing pre-production and took a chance that if I was there, he would meet me in person. Because I knew all of the guys in the States, well, some of the guys in the States, had the opportunity to audition uh, in person, well, certainly to the 
Come on, Cynthia, I don't think anyone in mental health fits in person there, but um, I took a chance because I didn't want any little dudes from America making the job where I was supposed to get it. So I, I took away that possible advantage on a free day and managed to get, you know, told, aware that I was there and he insisted that he met me in person. Well, I was thinking the best possible, like I might get to meet the cast of the in person, but Todd insisted to meet me all on one and we really hit it off and got the job. He thought it was a cool idea to have an English Gary. Yeah! <laughs> so um, it's all very well known. You probably get uh, asked a lot of questions about working for you each of these ways of method acting. And, and you're in a very intense role in his apartment. And it just felt very, very real. Like your part is like, is that because you were just goddamn petrified? Really good. <laughs> no, it's, uh, I think when you work with someone on his level, um, it, it just feels real because he, he makes it real and he improvises so much. He kind of, yeah, a lot of the reactions are real because he, you know, when he jumps at me when I'm trying to get past um, Randall's dead body on the floor. Um, Genuinely terrified me because it, it's not in the script. He just thought it would be funny to wipe me up. And uh, there's a lot of things like that. Like the one when he takes the mic out of my accent, when he says it's crazy in it, me on the telly. Um, he wasn't meant to do that. So then I'm going to be scared, but that was really funny. Um, and it was really cool that they left little things like that in. Um, and actually, the uh, end of the scene where you know, I can't reach the lock and uh, I have to ask him for help. His men had just come and opened the door and let me go, but he opened it and then like about an inch and then started to close it again. And I'm genuinely there like, why are you closing it? <laughs> and then I like, I sort of step back to the wall because genuinely I'm thinking, is he deciding to change it where he now does kill me? I was like, we haven't prepared how we're going to do this fat fight. Like, uh, no one's close enough to rescue me if he goes over the top. Because I've seen him uh, improvise and trash the uh, changing rooms in the other scenes. And uh, the poor set people had to come on and rebuild things all the time. I was like, um, don't break me. Um, <laughs> but uh, it ended up being a much, well, a way better. Oh my god, I've got a beard. Yes! Sorry, but, but the, uh, the end of the scene ended up being much better because he improvised with um, the line well, I'm terrified not knowing what he's going to do and then he gives me a little kiss on the head and says like, Gary, you were the only one that was ever nice to me Like, best end to the scene Like, yeah, Tom must have been kicking himself that like, why he just kept coming out with these absolute golden moments that he didn't write himself yeah, and I, I don't know. He probably takes credit for it on the uh, awesome improvisation. <laughs> but, you know, Todd is a genius writer. And I've heard, you know, his other projects that are coming up are really good. I've heard. Yeah, you say you've heard that. That to me means he's totally in. Totally. Give me a wink if you are. He can't wink. Oh my god. Well, uh, tomorrow you're going to be in Elm at a Rex Cinema. Is that right? What film are you off to see? <laughs> uh, I'm watching Barbie. Yeah. I can't wait for a pink outfit. Um, that's what we see tomorrow, is it? Barbie? If I could work the magic, I would, but... He thought, he thought I was Ryan Gosling, and he's booked me for a Q&A after Barbie tomorrow, so if you want to come down, um, yeah, you get to see me, Ryan Gosling. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the round to the ring is to do it tomorrow. Ryan, right, how much are tickets? Tickets are five quid. Bargain! And it's so, if you've ever been to the to the ring, it's beautiful. I was thrown out of there when I went to see Wayne's World 2. What did you do? A lot. Did you do that in uh, the popcorn tray? No, no, no. All I, did, I was with my friend Darren who the words. All I was doing was flicking the top of my can, and the other was so old, so I was like, TOO MUCH NOISE! GET OUT! But that's neither here nor there. You can go to the ring to the tomorrow. 
Reeves will be there, he'll be doing a bit of a QA, and a introducing the film. He's going to reenact that scene while it's on the screen, is that right? Martin's going to play the Joker, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, so you can still have self that, so do, it's going to be a great way to spend your Sunday afternoon or... Is it Sunday afternoon or Sunday afternoon? Sunday afternoon. Yeah. But if you have anything else you'd like to say here today to Huntsville Comic Con, you've been in the winter, you've been in Game of Thrones, you've been in Joker, you've been in everything. Anything else you'd like to say? Oh yeah, I've got another movie coming out which is going to be cool. <laughs> Let's start. Yeah. Uh, so there's going to be a film co coming out called Blitz. It's a British war film uh, set in World War II, directed by Steve McQueen, who did 12 Years a Slave. Not the dead actor, Steve McQueen, but the alive director, Steve, Sir Steve McQueen. Absolute genius. And uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'm allowed to talk about that as well because it's all been announced and stuff. So um, yeah, I play a, a real historical figure in that. Um, uh, a guy called Mickey Davis, who is a Jewish dwarf that lived in East End of London, and he ran one of the biggest bomb shelters uh, in London during that time. And he saved, you know, a lot of people's lives. He made a big impact, and not enough people know his story. Um, so yeah, get together. It's a beautiful film, and uh, Sergio Ronan stars in it. Uh, Stephen Graham, incredible scouts actor. My mum's a scout, so I mean, never get on. Um, because, I don't know, people who have scouts about me, I don't know. Another really intense actor. He's another really intense actor, yeah. But, um, keep an eye out for it. Blitz. So that's Blitz coming out as soon as I make sure you can go and check out that. Lee, if you have a guest, he's going to be here for a while now. Lee can see his beer. I know he wants that beer. Now I want a beer. Can we have another round of applause? Because we've all our guests on there. Lee, get yeah, thank you. Cheers, brother. But do hang around, there's lots going on today.